Hey guys, it's Cameron again, and as you can see, I'm in a little bit of an unusual setting. This is the library slash game room that is downstairs in my family's basement. I am down here because there is a tornado warning. It's really weird because it was a super nice day today, the sun was shining, the birds were singing, and then all of a sudden this storm blew in. It was raining and lightning and thunder and now there's a tornado warning and the power went out. So I decided I would take advantage of the spooky atmosphere and review this book right here, The Dead House by Don Kirkich. So without further ado, I will get into the review of this book. This is a... This is a young adult horror slash psychological thriller. First off, I'm going to say that this book is very unique in the fact that it is told completely through journal entries and news clippings and all kinds of different forms of media. It's not written like a traditional story and I feel like this format really uh, envelops the reader in what is going on. So basically the story follows a girl who isn't really a single girl. No, I don't mean that she doesn't have a love interest. I mean that she isn't just one person in one body. She is two people. At least that's what she thinks. So in the day, she is Carly, and then sometime in the evening, she switches over to Caitlyn. So they are two personalities, but they are in one body. So basically, it's like they are twins, but they're trapped in a single body. So the story is told through diary entries of Caitlyn that she writes at night, and it's also told through notes that her and Carly write to each other. Since they exist during different times of the day, they can't communicate directly, so that's their way of communicating. I guess I should probably mention that this Carly slash Caitlyn person is in fact treated as insane. Her parents died, but we never really know how until about the end of the book. After that, she was institutionalized and examined. In this book, there are also psychiatric reports that you read, and there is all this information that contradicts each other that totally throws you off the path. You're not sure if Caitlyn slash Carly is actually just one girl and she's just nuts, or maybe she's she really knows what she's talking about. I had no idea while I was reading. I was completely blind as to what was going on and it was very frustrating, but that's the great thing about this book is that it keeps you guessing like crazy because you never know what exactly is happening. After Carly slash Caitlin was examined, she was then sent to a kind of a boarding school, a private school. She's still frequently examined, but she doesn't live in an asylum anymore. And then some really freaky things start happening. She hears very strange voices in her head. She feels like she is being watched all the time. She feels like there is a kind of a presence that is following her. She smells wet fur in her room at night. And the whole time that she is writing in her diary, she is recounting all of these weird experiences that she's having. And she writes in her diary as if her diary is a real person. She gives it a name, she calls it D. And the way that she gives her diary a personality makes you think, oh my gosh, this girl is really nuts. Then suddenly, Caitlin stops getting notes from Carly and she starts wondering if something may have happened to her. Then she starts seeing this girl in her dreams or maybe standing in the corner at night while she's sleeping. And she starts to wonder if maybe that girl is Carly or if maybe the girl is D, the diary that she's writing in. That goes without saying that Caitlin is pretty much the main character of the story. We really don't hear from Carly that much, except for just in the few notes that she writes to Caitlin. This book starts out very, very dark, and it gets only darker. So if you do not like dark stories, can't say I recommend this book because it is pitch black. But if you like dark stories and you like horror books and you really want something that's going to make you think and try to put all the pieces together for yourself, this is perfect. It does wrap up beautifully in the end. There's a perfect ending that I would not have imagined any other way. What I love about the ending is that it resolves just enough without resolving everything. There are still plenty of questions I have but I'm okay with it because it just adds to the overall mystery of the book and trying to get you to figure it out for yourself. The clues are all there. All the answers are here in this book. You just need to put the facts together. I feel like I did that while reading this book and it is so chilling and I... I just saw something. That's okay. So there you have it. That is my review of The Dead House by Don Kurtigich. I highly recommend that you give this book a pre-order, or you can just wait until it comes out on September 15th to go to the bookstore and pick up a copy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.